Hey there! So I am here today to show you guys my favorites of November. This month passed by so amazingly quickly. I can't believe December is right around the corner. I'm super excited. I absolutely adore Christmas as you guys probably all know. Everybody knows. Um, but yeah, on to my favorites for November. So I'll start off with face products. Um, the first one I'm going to talk about is a Vichy product and this one is called everything's, I don't know, it's kind of like a French uh, Purette, Purette Thermale and it is a 3-in-1 step cleanser so it, um, it's a milk cleanser by the way it uh, captures impurities like a micro magnet Cleanse, it's a cleansing milk, a toning lotion and an eye makeup remover in one um, this is amazing. When it comes to winter time, I get extremely, extremely dry. My nose, like, you guys probably can't tell right now because I've creamed it like crazy, but my nose goes crazy and peels constantly. Everything's all flaky. I, I absolutely hate uh, what winter does to my skin, even though I love winter itself. But this stuff is amazing. Um, milk cleansers are actually really, really moisturizing, so that's why I tend to uh, go towards the milk's um, products for winter time and this one's actually the 400 milliliter it is um, on special right now where I live at Shoppers Drug Mart and normally it's 200 mils and it's not in a pump version so I think it the regular one was 19 bucks for 200 mils and this was $26 for an extra 200 mils but the girl uh, told me like it's kind of smart to go this way because the ones with the pump only come out once a year around Christmas time and she said like once I'm done with this I could still buy 200 mil but I can fill it in here so it's really nice to have that pump action right so um, I'm absolutely loving this so if you guys have um, problem or dry skin in the winter time or even if it's year round and you really are looking for a cleanser that doesn't dry out your face because I know a lot of cleansers do completely like a lot of mine dry out my face like crazy the ones I use in the summertime if I use on my face now I my skin goes nuts um, and the nice thing with this cleanser too is, you know, you can use it, and I like to I like to massage it into my face. I always give myself a little massage while I use it. I do use still like a Mac wiper, any you know Gar um, Garnier wipe or any of those kind of uh, wipes before to take off my eye makeup. Because as much as this says it's an eye makeup remover, you know, it's gonna clean off what's left on your eye. Not like I would never take this off and like try to take off my eye makeup. I still use. Um, like an eye makeup remover or a wipe or something like that but the nice thing with this is you can um, put it on your face in the shower and I actually leave it on when I have my conditioner like while I'm rinsing out my conditioner I leave it on my face and you can rinse it off with water but the nice thing is if you need that extra pump of moisture that extra like oomph of moisture in your face you can actually put it on and then just wipe it off with a um, like damp towel, warm damp towel, so it actually will keep some of that uh, product on your face instead of like completely washing it off. So it's really versatile and it's really, really amazing for dry skin. The next thing I'm going to talk about is another face product. Now I'm sure I've showed you guys in my um, skin routine video the eye cream that I use. It's Garnier Nutritiony Skin Renew Daily Anti-Fatigue Eye Cream. So this is what it looks like. And I actually went to repurchase because I'm like almost, well, I'm, I'm out. Like, I mean, I can kind of squeeze out a little bit still, so I still have it. But um, I found this one, and it is really, really similar. Like, when you when I read the packaging, it is really similar. But this one is also for anti-sun damage. So it has, I'm assuming, an SPF in it. The bottles are so small, so I mean, really doesn't. I should have kept the box and read it. But it has anti-sun damage, so it has an SPF in it and it is amazing and I like it a little bit better than this one because it's thicker and especially like I said before in the winter time you need that extra uh, pop of moisture to your face so I'm really 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 loving this one and it comes in like a pump version instead of the squeeze out version which is nice too but this eye cream is really really working great for me right now in the winter and I'm absolutely loving it so if you're looking for a new eye cream definitely go and check this one out now I'll get on to some makeup products and I'm going to start off with this uh, Benefit Creaseless Shadow. I do own a couple of them. I am quite a fan. I really, really like them. They, you know, kind of replace or 
are additives to like paint pots for MAC and this one here is in strut it is kind of like a charcoal uh, silver tone it has it's not really sparkly but it does have a bit of silver shimmer to it and I have been reaching for it like crazy since I bought it I haven't used it in a video yet I don't think so um, It'll actually be coming up in one of my soon-to-be videos very, very soon. So I'm absolutely loving this Creaseless uh, Cream Shadow in Strut. Another thing for my eyes that I've been loving, and I think I've showed you guys these in previous uh, videos, they're the per Pearl Glide Eyeliners from MAC. So this is what they look like, and I have it in blue and purple. It came out in a collection, but I am loving these just with the whole, like, you know, holiday, glamour, fun um, makeup that you can do right now. I really, really love these because they have glitter in them. Like, they totally have shine. They totally have shimmer to them. And I'm absolutely loving them. I reach for them a lot, especially when I do more neutralize and I want to pop a color. Uh, they're really, really great in the waterline. And I'm not normally a fan of MAC uh, eyeliners in the waterline. I normally go for Stila or Urban Decay for that. But these in the waterline are amazing. And I love it because I kind of rub it into my lashes as well. And it just gives that extra bit of sparkle. So even if you have a neutral eye or a gray smoky eye or anything like that, it, it adds that pop of color. And it's really, really fun so I'm really really loving these and I'm reaching for them a lot. I do have one more MAC product and I'm sure you guys have seen this before. This is a um, blush cream. Um, I normally use cream color bases for my cheeks. I do have more oily skin normally so I find uh, cream blushes kind of melt on me a little faster but this one here has completely kiboshed my hate for cream blushes for MAC. This is Posey and I absolutely love this color. I reach for it constantly and it is a gorgeous color. It's kind of like peachy pink. You know, it kind of has all the kind of tones you're looking for and I absolutely love it and it especially works really well with my um, super duper natural mineralized blush on top of it. Like these two colors just really complement each other so this will set it really nice but I absolutely adore this um, cream blush by MAC. And the last thing I'm going to show you, it's not beauty related, but it's, you know, kind of in the holiday season that's coming up. Um, I love, absolutely love Bath & Body Works. I go there constantly. And they came out with their Christmas collections. I actually bought a number of things from their uh, Christmas scents line. But my favorite one is Winter. I can't even, like, I, I can't even describe the scent this is. It's just very, I don't know, I'd say, like, cranberries mixed with baking mixed with Christmas trees mixed I don't know it's like it winter is a perfect name for it it smells so amazing I also like this is the uh, I think this is the four ounce yeah this is the four ounce candle I also own the huge uh, eight ounce candle which has three wicks in it that one's already sitting on my coffee table downstairs and then I also bought it in the wallflowers which again is on my main floor in my living room and it is such an amazing scent um, I actually had my mom come over the other day and she walked to my house and it was the first time she had seen my Christmas decorations all up and she's like oh it looks so nice in here and she's like it even smells like Christmas she's like what, what do you have you know what's the scent in your house and I'd show her these winter and I like I'm pretty sure she's gonna go purchase some too but it's just the perfect scent for your house for Christmas. I also got, um, I think there's a red one. I think it's like cranberry something or other. And then there's a green one, which is like evergreen. You know, the scent of like a real um, evergreen tree. Um, but yeah, this one is by far my favorite. I'm absolutely loving winter. And you guys should definitely go check it out if you have a Bath & Body Works near you. Um, it's just a really, really nice scent to add to your house. So I think that is it for my November loves of this month. Uh, I didn't have too many things, but they're definitely things that I've been picking up more now that the holiday season is coming and uh, things that I've been picking up just because, you know, it's winter here and it's cold. So yeah, those are the things that I've been grabbing for lately and I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all very soon. Bye!